Hi, thanks for using My Court Coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we talk about the Notice of Registration of Out-of-State Support Order Form, also known as Form FL570. This is a form that you would use if uh, support orders were made in a different state and neither you nor the opposing party live in that state any longer and you would like those orders to be registered in your current state so that you have the ability to enforce them, modify them as you see fit. So to start off with, you want to fill in your identifying case caption information at the top. Um, you will leave the case number blank because we are starting a new case and the clerk will add that case number in once she processes your paperwork. You're going to indicate if you are seeking to register the support order, the income withholding order, and or both. Below that, you're going to state the name of the other party that this is going to be eventually served on. And you're going to, again, indicate if you're looking to register the out-of-state support order, the out-of-state uh, order for income withholding and or both. You're going to attach certified copies of whatever documents you're asking to be registered uh, to this form. If there are arrears that have been established in that case, um, or even if you're just alleging them, you want to list what that amount is and as what date that has been uh, calculated as of. If this is a for a foreign order, um, then you would want to mark the box that says that it applies to foreign orders and state what the US dollar equivalence is as of what date. Um, this will be served along with a blank request for hearing regarding registration of out-of-state support order on the other party. And that other party then has 20 days after notice to contest this registration if they choose to do so. You're going to file this form at the courthouse. You're also going to include a federal form called OBM 0970-0085. We will have a separate uh, video to address that form. Um, and you're going to take this to the courthouse and include a uh, self-addressed stamped envelope for yourself and for the other party so that both parties will get copies of this notice of registration once it's been processed. The clerk will fill in the bottom of it and that is it for this form. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.